Well, big changes are underway across the country as we see the weather patterns start to shift up. We're going to be dealing with some strong to severe thunderstorms today from the central and southern plains. Also, uh, a little bit further to the east across the Carolinas as we deal with some instability heading into the afternoon. That could lead to a few strong storms that pulse up. Also, again, in Texas, Oklahoma, into Kansas today, that is the area where I think we have the risk for the strongest thunderstorms. But that's not the only thing we're worried about. We also have flash flooding that could be a problem. Anytime you get those strong thunderstorms, the flooding risk goes up as the heavy rain builds. So that that's a concern. Further east, also along the Gulf Coast and the Mid-Atlantic, uh, we're going to see some thunderstorms here as well. And uh, maybe some late season snow up north. So a lot going on across the country. We're going to break it down and take you region by region on this Tuesday. Let's start with the upper level pattern. Bit of a flat flow across the country. Some cold air aloft. That's what's causing that snow here across parts of North Dakota into southern parts of, of Canada. That's going to lift out. And then we keep the southerly flow. And then I think long range, we'll, we still will be watching this trough that swings into the west coast. This could be our severe weather maker for maybe the weekend into really early next week. Something to keep an eye on. As of today, though, the, the highest tornado risk will be across West Texas and the severe risk again in this area as well. Uh, we have a slight risk here from uh, really the Rio Grande all the way north into West Texas, western Oklahoma, and central Kansas. There could also be some damaging winds, some hail here as well. And then heading uh, a little bit further to the east, we've got some severe storms possible along the Gulf Coast. Central and southern Mississippi, Louisiana, into east Texas. Some of those could spill over into parts of Alabama. And then a little bit further to the east, you can see how those severe storms stretch all the way up to Lake Michigan here. And then into the Carolinas, we're watching this region from the Piedmont into the coastal plain. Some storms firing into the afternoon could contain some hail and some damaging winds as well. As we head into day two, this will be for Wednesday, the same area impacted and also day three. So really the southern plains on alert for the next couple of days and heavy rain could be a problem in places where we may, maybe we've not seen as much rain. Here's a quick look at the national outlook as we go through the next couple of days and then we'll sort of break it down region by region. Quite a bit of rain shower activity showing up all the way through the week. So quite damp as we deal with unsettled weather across the central U.S., cool and Kind of dry here across the northern tier. And then another system diving into the west. That's going to cause some snow into the Rockies. Also into the Sierra. Could get heavy at times. Really the snow would be pretty high up in here. But then again, as this moves east into next week, the question is, are we dealing with severe weather? Let's talk about the severe concerns today. Again, across parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, into Alabama. We're going to have a few storms going through the afternoon. Some of these could pulse up across north Georgia and Alabama as well. But the highest risk for severe weather would be popping into the afternoon and evening hours. It's not a huge risk here. Also into the Carolinas. I'm going to back that up just a little bit. You can see as this piece of energy streaks into the Piedmont, in the peak heating hours, a few of these could really get intense. So some hail, some damaging winds possible with a few of these storms with temperatures. Pretty warm into the Piedmont, upper 80s, close to 90 in many areas. A little bit cooler back to the west as some chillier air. Not really chilly, but cooler than the 80s we've seen. We're back into the 60s across the Ohio Valley. Further to the north, into the Ohio Valley, into the Great Lakes. A few showers rolling across Wisconsin through the early morning hours into the afternoon. This is uh, lifting north. A warm front here. Temperatures will be on the way up. We've been pretty chilly up here, but we'll see numbers rise across Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan. And then maybe a cluster of storms moving through Chicago as we head into the overnight uh, and then into Wednesday. It'll be weakening likely, though, as it heads through Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. More showers moving back into Wisconsin, also into Michigan. And a few of these storms could pulse up just a little bit. Nothing crazy severe looking at this point. A huge temperature difference heading into the afternoon. North of that warm front, look at these temperatures in the 40s and 50s versus lower 70s. So it's clear to see what's going on here as we put this into motion. Another cold night tonight across Wisconsin, also into the UP of Michigan. But how about that? We warm back up finally up into the 60s again for places like uh, Duluth, uh, maybe even Marquette, and then across central Michigan. We're back up into the 70s as well, the lower peninsula. All right, further to the north and east, showers across parts of Maine into Boston. A little bit damp, a little bit gray. That will start to lift out as we head into the afternoon and evening hours, drier conditions. A little bit breezy at times. More storms, though. Again, that's way to the south here across the Carolinas. Otherwise, we're dry. 
a few showers try to streak in as we head into Thursday morning across southern Ontario and then moving into upstate New York and the northern parts of Vermont and New Hampshire, so that could put some wet weather here. And this is a look at your temperatures today across the southern plains. This is where we get active today with some severe weather across Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas heading into the afternoon and evening. It may take a while for these storms to pop with a bit of a cap in place, but when they go, they're going to go, and then we're going to see some some decent hail makers, I think, out of these storms and a possibility of a few tornadoes as well, especially if they can get going uh, with some strength. Those will start to die down into the overnight hours. That does include parts of Kansas and Oklahoma too. And then more widespread storms heading into Wednesday. We keep this unsettled pattern here, and then boom, look at that. A little bit further to the north, maybe a little bit further to the west too, we push the storms up into Nebraska, also into Kansas. More widespread coverage, I think, as we head into Thursday, uh, at least with the rain anyway. And again, some of this rain could be heavy, and that causes a concern for some flooding. Temperatures across Texas in the 90s, some rain-cooled air here. You can see those numbers really affected by outflow boundaries and whatnot. But either way, kind of humid and quite summer-like uh, in this area, although it can get quite toasty in the summer. It's still pretty hot out there. Further to the north, cold enough for some snow here across the U.S.-Canadian border. That lifts away, and then the showers lift out of uh, Minnesota. They move north, and a few showers streak east into southern Minnesota, and then otherwise we start to dry out. A little bit of snow shower po showers possible for places like International Falls with cold temperatures. I mean, cold enough for snow, so when you look at these numbers, it's no wonder we see some blue on the map here with numbers near or below freezing and definitely getting cold at night, dropping below freezing tonight. Tomorrow, not a whole lot better, especially across North Dakota into northern Minnesota where we're stuck in the 30s and 40s and we've got mid-70s, nice and mild spring weather to the south. Across the west, you know, quiet across the four corner states. Maybe a few mountains, rain and snow showers heading into Wednesday night and into Thursday. Otherwise, relatively quiet. Some onshore flow does start to develop as we head towards Friday. This brings snow back into the Sierra. Northern California, rain and snow showers here. So after a bit of a quiet time, we're watching this cold pool of air, this upper low, spinning in, bringing some moisture into the mountains. And that's going to change the weather pattern up for this part of the country too with rain and snow and that moves out as we head into early next week and it kicks east that could be again our severe maker for next week and here's a look at temperatures across the southwest further into the pacific northwest dry across oregon at least most of oregon today uh, into tomorrow a few showers possible the further south you go a bit of a ridge in the upper levels but we've got our trough offshore and here it comes that cold air aloft spinning in Showers developing into the Cascades, into Oregon, into Idaho. We're going to see some rain and snow here. Unsettled weather builds in for the Pacific Northwest, so kind of damp and gray, especially into the upslope areas here and the windward side of the mountains. So that's a quick look at what's going on around the country today and also into the next couple of days. So if you're brand new, hope you'll consider coming back and subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.